Hi, my name is Mani Ali Khani. I am Dean and Professor at CITOR Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to another session of CITOR Channel. Today is a special day for us. We are celebrating the 3,000 subscribers in our channel. This has been a journey. We wanted to expand the knowledge of orthodontics and craniofacial biology and provide an easy understanding program for clinicians, students, and faculty to follow. And this journey was not possible without your support. So allow me to take this moment and thank you for all your support. In appreciation of what you have done for us, we are providing a bundle of the Mechanotherapy Volume 1 and Volume 2 for purchase in a very discounted price. Follow the information on the screen if you are interested. Now let's get back to the science. If you remember from the last time, we started to talk about the very important subjects in orthodontics that is called sequencing. Sequencing define the efficiency of your mechanics, efficiency of the treatment time, and a reduction of the side effects. But as you remember from the last time, before we get involved in these important subjects, uh, defining some terminology was very important. The last time we talked about the conflicting mechanics, synergistic mechanics, and neutral mechanics in the concept of one target. We wanted to move a tooth, we designing a mechanics. Is this design is conflicting, synergistic or neutral in regard to that tooth, other target units or anchor units. But many times in orthodontics, clinicians try to apply two or three or even more mechanics simultaneously with this hope to accelerate the rate of uh, treatment, reducing the time but not necessarily all the times these goals are achieved and paying attention to the details is very important. Today, I wanted to concentrate and redefine this terminology in the concept of two or more targets if you are planning to use two or more mechanics. Let's start with the conflicting mechanics. Assume you are planning to distalize the upper left posterior teeth. For this design, you are using a one couple system or two couple system in the format of the TPA, transpalatal arch. Producing a force, and the force is in your favor, pushing the molars backward. At the same time, you may think, why are my molars going backward? Why I don't apply additional force to bring the premolars backward? In that case, I achieve the goal of making a space for blocked out tooth as fast as possible. However, this second mechanics that you are planning to apply produce a force opposite to the distalizing force that you are applying on the molar. And in that case, it can even cancel your first force. Your whole setup actually does not move the teeth at all. You did not not only save the time, you actually did delay the treatment. So sometimes application of two or three mechanics at the same time is not wise if our forces and moments cancel each other. But can we use two or three mechanics at the same time and produce a synergistic effect? Let's look at the example. Assume you are planning to intrude the anterior teeth and extrude the posterior teeth to address a deep bite. And in this setup, in the upper, you are putting a posterior V-band. Uh, if you remember from the previous um, sessions, posterior V-band produces intrusion force on the anterior segment, extrusion force on the posterior segment. To increase the flexibility of the wire, you don't engage the premolars at this session. You have a good force, a good moments that push the molar toward the class one everything is in your favor. Now, what happens if you add another mechanics, a biomodifier? If you remember, biomodifier is an appliance that does not produce a force, but by changing the function helps. Assume I'm putting the anterior bite plate here as a biomodifier. Is it going to help the first mechanic 
for producing a conflicting result. Well, it seems that it helps. Why? By separating the occlusion, allow the extrusion of the molars to occur in a shorter period of time. Provide some space for extrusion of the molars. So now you have two mechanics that produce a synergistic effect. They help each other to achieve the goal faster in a shorter, shorter period of time. But two mechanics can be not conflicting not synergistic but neutral to each other and still are recommended because they're saving time. Assume you have uh, extruded the second molar uh, because the opposite tooth has been extracted and you are planning to intrude that tooth. At the same time, the rest of the teeth requires leveling and aligning and uh, you want to proceed in that part of the treatment simultaneously. Can I design two mechanics that achieve these two goals at the same time? Yes, of course, you can apply two mechanics that are neutral to each other. Intrusion of the second molar, leveling aligning of anterior segments, without these two mechanics need to talk to each other. In that case, you save the time. In clinics, we recommend you completely avoiding conflicting mechanics. And if you need to, maybe it is better to just use one design at a time. Definitely try to apply synergistic mechanics or at least neutral mechanics to save the treatment time and achieve a treatment in a shorter period of time for the patient with the less side effects. I hope you enjoyed this session of CITO channel. Next session, we start the detail of sequencing and then you will understand why this introduction to terminology was necessary. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe and please don't forget to press the like button. Thank you again for 3000 subscriber milestone.